Okay, and welcome. We are live. I am Shah from Game with Shah, and today we are going to be having a look at the new high school trailer for the new Sims expansion pack. Personally, I'm really excited for this. I have, of course, watched the trailer. Um, I've picked out key bits as well. The sound will be off, so if you would like to view this stream with the uh, <laughs> with the sound on, then let me just go ahead, copy that. I'll pop it in uh, into the description. So if you want to actually check out the trailer with the sound on, then you can do so. But we are going to be stopping and starting this continuously. We are going to have a full looky at what this is going to be offering. There's so much in here and I'm super psyched. I am so excited for this. Okay, let's start it off. As I said, there's going to be loads of stopping and starting and seeing what's going on. So we've got a sim. We've got what looks like a prom straight off the bat. This looks like a prom. And you can definitely see some new clothing in this as well which is very exciting. I'm loving this decorations because at the moment, or even just a couple of years ago, massive in the UK were these balloon arches. They were everywhere and they're still quite popular today. I think I've still got about three boxes um, with 300 balloons in each in my uh, decoration cupboard right now. So yeah, there's, hello Erin Rescue Simmer, welcome. Erin Rescue Simmer is of course another YouTuber and she is fantastic, so make sure you go and check her out. Um, so you've got these balloon arches, which are highly popular. You've got these, um, in the UK we do have proms. Um, I believe not as frequent as yours. We tend to have some sort of prom at the very end of school. So that's year 11 when we leave. And then usually college we have proms as well. Um, so yeah, so I've had two proms in my life. Uh, but I do, th I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe you have a few more over in the USA. I love these star decorations in the background and this is definitely a new wallpaper behind here. I'm trying to think of any hexagon, pink hexagon type. Um, I know we've got the pink circle wallpaper currently, but I'm just trying to think. I don't think we have this wallpaper. This also looks like a curtain, a star curtain behind here as well. So that's really exciting. Um, and definitely some new outfits, as I've just said. That looks like a new um, LGBT uh, top back there, potentially. Okay, let's... Oh, look, it went in focus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that to me. Okay, so... One, two, three. And pause. Oh, my God, it goes so fast. Okay, let's... So, right here, there is an alarm clock in the background. Now, if you watch the video, uh, the trailer... Um, you can hear the alarm clock. We haven't had alarm clocks in The Sims 4. So having them back is going to be amazing. The alarm clocks would wake your Sim up. They would wake the Sim up with two, one hour or two hours before they had to leave the house. Um, we do, we have two proms in high school, junior and senior prom. Ah, um... Oh, the slow dancing. Yes, so the slow dancing, of course, has come in with... Um, slow dancing came in with my wedding pack. I don't know if it's in... I don't know if it is in um, the base game. I don't think slow dancing came in the base game. So if that's the case, it may be that we get to have two different uh, packs like tents come in two different packs it comes in outdoor retreat in fact three different packs because also in Batu, and there's another one but I can't remember what it's called um Rachel welcome oh saw the trailer earlier today the rise and shine update yes so excited about this so we're just gonna go through and pull this apart 
Uh, less micromanaging my sims in the morning. Yes, trying to make sure the sims get up in time for work and things is a pain in the backside. So again, this looks like that wallpaper that we saw before in this. This hexagon one that we don't currently have. So seeing that is going to be really, really cool. Um, so he has a different facial hair. I don't know if you saw that. All of these items, so many of these items are new, guys. So this stool, the bed, they're both new. This wardrobe is new. The curtains are new. This clutter item at the top is new as well the posters new we've got what looks like down in this right hand side you've got um like a clutter item for a desk that's new the clothing up here is new and this wallpaper's new the flooring i'm not sure is new i don't i i feel like we've got this uh flooring already in the carpet that's iffy that might be new it might not be new the uh seat next to the, the uh on top of the rug is new these this little hamper thing is definitely new i'm wondering if that's going to be a clothes hamper it would be nice to have a clothes hamper that's actually a different size to the others but otherwise that's a clutter item of course we've got some clutter items on the floor now we do have something very similar to this one back here but it's a rucksack that's on the floor with bits scattered around it. So they've just um, uh, given, given it a new um, face on that. This uh, could be wardrobe, maybe. That's new. There's Minecraft in the background. That's a Minecraft throwback. That's got to be a Minecraft reference, sorry. The mirror's definitely new. This desk and chair could be new. I think this entire room, other than potentially the floor, is all, and the rug is new, which is very exciting. There's so many new things here. That's kind of crazy. Why does this poster in the very top left-hand corner look a little bit like the Pepsi logo? That definitely looks like the Pepsi logo. This, if um, you've got the, my, the decoration pack, what's it called? Oh my god, I suddenly can't remember what any of the packs are called. The decoration pack, um, where you have your sim go to work and decorate other sims' houses. That there, that would fit nicely with that. The posters look like Minecraft and Gundrop. I don't know what Gundrop is. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it is, so I can't, but yeah, that definitely does look like the, the, oh, there's a new lamp as well back there. There's so much in this room, just, and I love this, that rug is the same mascot as the one for, uh, the llama from the university as well. It looks like we've got a new collectible back there as well. That's part of that. That looks like the collectible, one of the collectibles. So that's really cool. And there's that alarm clock that was beeping as well. I am excited for the alarm clock, mostly in this scene. The alarm clock. Okay, let's move on. High school years. Oh, hang on, hang on. Give me a second to pause it. So this building looks great. Now, if you don't know, there is a mod um, that is that has schools and it enables your Sims to go to school. I have featured it on the channel previously. Your Sims can go into school, they can learn, they have to do different things. And it's, oh, uh, Transformers got ya, Rachel. Um, and yeah the and it's a really cool mod so i'm kind of not surprised that they have brought in going to school now one of the things i would like to know is can you have multiple sims attending school and be them all at the same time so if you had twins for instance because our sims are more than capable of having twins or triplets can they all go to school at the same time and you be able to control all of them or are you gonna be stuck um being just one 
sim. Because that kind of would suck. However, however, if you have two adult sims in the science career, for instance, and they both go to work, you can only perform as one of them. You cannot switch between them both, even if you go to work with both of them. So I'm not looking hopeful for that. I'm really not looking hopeful for the fact of being able to go in as multiple sims. But I have hope. Oh, that's a good question. I wonder if they can go to different high schools. Be interesting if we can make our own high schools as well, because of course, as I just mentioned, we have this mod already that allows you to create a high school so you can build high schools. Um, I really hope we get a teacher as an active career. That would mean they would have to change an existing career. So it depends if they would do that. But it'd be so cool if you could get your sim to go to the school and teach the lessons. That would be amazing. So what have we got in this? We've got a sim sat down on the grass. Now, one of the simmers recently... Um... I can't remember which one was going on about not being able to sit down in the grass uh, with groups of Sims. And I really agreed with her. I was like, you know, in The Sims 2, in The Sims 3, Sims could sit down in on the ground and have a conversation. And it's such a teenage thing to do. And so I love that we've got a Sim sat down here. They might just be meditating, but maybe... Um, so Rachel, imagine the Snow White part of the Disney challenge having to play as all those kids at once. Oh my god, that would be chaos. <laughs> exactly, Erin, that would be chaos. Um, so this guy down here in the white just threw a, uh, football, uh, an American football, um, to this guy and it knocked him on the head. Hello, Brittany slash Regan. How are you doing? And, um, he got dizzy from that. So that's really cool. That that's a thing. You've just got some Sims walking around. They have some different outfits on as well. Um, these are all new, um, wallpapers as well. Um, for the buildings, windows and doors are all new as well as far as I can see. These bits look new as well. I don't recognise them from the game currently. So that's really exciting. And this fountain we don't have in the game, I'm pretty sure. You can see in the background there, there's like, it looks like a football field potentially. So let's continue going in and we've got awards. We've got a megaphone type thing on the... So that'll be interesting if that's a radio or if uh, Sims can actually speak over the, like the intercom. I love this plant here. This plant is really cool. And this, is that a rug or a floor pattern? I don't know. Art Deco school theme on the top. Yes, definitely. I agree, Rachel. Uh, new lighting as well there and new benching. Oh, okay, so we got a new uh, gay pride flag, which is awesome. Again, I do like these. Um, so we've got the vending machine, so that will be interesting because our sims will be able to die. And there is this interesting locker. So obviously there is lots of things going on on this locker. Is it theme based? I think it is because I've already watched the trailer. It's probably theme based. But if not, can we choose what goes on the locker doors? Because that would be cool. Again, we're featuring this wallpaper, this hexagon styled wallpaper. So again, I'm really, because they keep reusing, I'm thinking that it probably is a new wallpaper. And we've got the um, chemical thing on the wall. So that's cool. Okay, going forwards again. Oh, look, there's um, stickers on this one as well. I just noticed that. Um, I love that we got the lockers as well. Will each student have their own locker? And will it change every time they go to school or will they have a set one? I think that's a new bin as well, just to throw that one out there. Lots and lots of new items. So this is another different themed school. New wallpaper. 
new wall decorations lockers are such a big part of individuality in high school yeah um you get that from the movies american style movies of high school and things so i do like that they've added that i wish we were seeing some sims with backpacks on their back I know the catching hazards with that, you know, the clipping issues that you probably have with a backpack, but oh, going to high school and not having a backpack on just feels wrong. New poster as well there. And new stickers as well. I love the sudden change. There's another one. So this is all colourful. And again, a sim is sat on the floor. So that's leaning more towards that we'll actually be able to have our sim sat on the floor. Which would be awesome. I hope they can hold a conversation sat on the floor. Um, they did say on Twitter that the hallways in this school were changeable. So maybe there's just different places that are changeable. Or I don't know. How would they do it? Because all these items, are they in the exact same place? Are these all in the exact same place as they walk through? I feel like all of those lockers are in the same place. So it'd be interesting if you are able to only change theme or it will go beyond that and you'll be able to change individual aspects and be able to move things around or if things are just stuck in place i wonder i do wonder now this guy here looks a little bit older than the others potentially uh with the way he's dressed maybe he's a teacher Aaron. you were saying maybe maybe he's a teacher I'm loving this couple here that are kissing. Do we have a new uh, kiss interaction, make out interaction for teenagers? Because that'd be cool. Because teenagers make out a lot. I was a teenager at one point. Teenagers make out a lot. <laughs> um, there's more posters there. Looks like there are going to be so many posters. But I really like that because if we can change up the entire classrooms and things it means that you can really make it customizable to different lessons with more posters because posters uh, classrooms tend to be a basic box and with the whiteboard at the front and the students chairs and then everything around it on the walls that's what tells you what class you're in more than anything so that would be really cool there's that american style football again what do we got here? So again, this is a different flooring, different hairstyle. We do not have that hairstyle in the game. We do not have that hairstyle in the game. I keep pointing and you guys can't see my fingers. I need a webcam on my finger. Um, new outfits as well for all of these Sims. And again, it looks like we don't have many new plants, which makes a pleasant surprise because the Sims team have this habit of filling out their items with um plants and it looks like there's only like one or two plant new plants which is will be quite nice rachel to be fair as soon as noah gets to school his bag goes in his locker so they might not carry them around ah that's interesting because at owen's school in secondary school um he doesn't have a locker they don't have lockers they just carry their stuff on their back in a backpack okay next scene so we have this cool looking uh style here again different top as well she's spraying her hair so maybe you can change your hairstyle in the locker okay so this is interesting so she likes has her pronouns so she is she or they um ash and a style icon so at school at at second at high school sorry she has got a icon and you see this with a couple um does it do it straight away no um and there's a couple of different 
um icons that they go through which is quite interesting one's the style and we'll have a look at the others in a minute um so i'm wondering if there's only four so i'm wondering if it's something that your sim chooses or um they earn by doing by acting a certain way oh that's cool i dear maybe the lockers are a way to get into cast like dresses are potentially that's not a bad shout erin potentially or maybe just the hairstyles uh can change from there or maybe it's um to give yourself a mood buff of just um pampering yourself um just fixing your makeup so to speak um and maybe it's that sort of thing okay let's have a look so this is our first classroom we've definitely got new clutter items here you can see on the um on the shelving units and things it looks like they could be in a geography or ethics class potentially and then you've got the whiteboard again we've got a teacher stood here so as Aaron said, it would be nice if we had an active teaching class. Maybe we do. Maybe we can be a teacher. That would be so cool. Hello, honeydew, and welcome. We are just doing a deep dive into the trailer. This is the first time I am doing this. You can't hear me. Can anyone else hear me? Is it just uh, super? Um, and welcome, super uh rachel oh cool idea i think they might be customized to pick your click yeah maybe maybe um we could have that sort of thing in the game that would be awesome um it, oh, there's so many different possibilities with this i am so excited <laughs> oh my god um yes so you oh yeah so hottie is also one of the style icon type things as well um which was interesting honey do can hear us all right um hi super 90 sorry oh you can hear now that's awesome welcome to the channel nice to see a new face in here um okay so we De the, as i said there's four different um like clicks that um are available or that we know are available uh one style one's the um hottie what well, i'm trying to think what the other two were and i just can't i've gone completely blank with them oh uh, the awkward romantic one as well <laughs> um which was really cool so yeah hopefully we can be a teacher as well that would be awesome that would be really awesome that's a new hat and that's a new hat we have this hat for children though if i remember correctly am i right there let me know down below if I, in the comment section sorry if i am wrong i'm pretty sure we have that for cat uh, for children is that a tv back there or not or is that a uh, just a locker type thing? I don't know. Um, okay, let's move on to the next bit. Maybe. So students can potentially um, be naughty on the board, um, do graffiti and things. So that would be really cool because this teacher's looking pretty shocked. So he did not plan that. I love that you can play Hangman. Who played Hangman at school? Because I did. That's what we did pretty much every every time it was the last day of the term. We played Hangman. That's like the go-to of teachers. Um, now there was a tiny scene just a second before that. Here it is. So again, we've got a new bookcase here, potentially. That's a new top. That's a new top. This is all new. In fact, all of these might be new. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so then he's shocked. Then we get another shocked look. And she's been a bad girl. And principal's daughter. Again, we've got the pronouns there. Pain in the... Oh, that was going to say ass. That was totally going to say ass. Pain in the... Awesome, I love it. Okay, 
so that's the other one we've got prince principal's um daughter there um i'm guessing that's not a click <laughs> doesn't really make sense to have that we got an Rubik's cube who doesn't love an Rubik's cube i have never completed one be honest in the comments have you ever completed an Rubik Rubik's cube oh my god i can't even pronounce it right now has anyone ever completed an Rubik's cube um, there's another couple of um, plants in the background here as well and who sees his arm guys who's looking at his arm and seeing arm hair oh my freaking god arm hair yes please we need some arm hair we need hair growth puberty hair growth come on is this going to come with a new uh stage of life Ooh. Uh, can i just play as a rebel library nerd relive my high school days i don't know it would be awesome if you could though rachel that would be really really cool um yeah the, i really want some hair growth uh nico um I've never been able to put it back together. Rachel, I can't do the cubes, but Mark does them all the time. That's crazy. That means I know someone <coughs> that has actually completed one, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> got a follow. Thank you so much for following. Um, come on, baby, work for me any minute now nico thank you so much for the subscribe scri sub subscription the subscription words they fail me so he's completed it and given it back to her so maybe she like dared him like can, can you do this oh she's not impressed and he's not happy what have we got in the background of these oh a socially awkward romance sick and the pronouns are he him in this uh, for kevin again i'm loving that we're seeing that um we've got the arm hair we can see again and we've got a group of cheerleaders laughing in the background it looks like we are definitely in the lunch hall let's just go back again and see this happening Oh, look at that. I just saw it there. There it is. So we've got a dinner hall. We can get lunch at school. Awesome. I'm happy with that. Um, so obviously in university, we have this available. You can't actually place it down. Um, you have to have the debug menu to be able to access this item. Um, but it's cool that we've got that. We've got a kitchen back there as well. And I'm loving this menu. And I could see me using this in all of my restaurants as well. The dine-out pack. This this could work in the dine-out pack. And that's something, as someone that's bought all of the packs, I want crossover. I want crossover so bad. So with the werewolf pack, when they brought that out, we have some crossover. They introduce actual crossover between the spellcasters and vampires. And I adore that. And I'm hoping in the future they continue to do that. Now, if you do really well in high school, I am hoping that that would mean that going forwards, um, that will affect you. What you did and who you were in high school affects your you, how you get into university, maybe scholarships, things like that. That would be really cool if we could have some crossover there. Okay, so she's not impressed very clearly. And we have a group of uh, fun uh, cheerleaders. They've got a group conversation going on and they all seem quite happy. Um she is so shania uh twining him that that oh that don't impress me much i like that song so the, he is a mr popular he him 
and oh my god philosopher overachiever curious a star something whoa 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 chill out okay let's where's my speed um playback let's go by like that so we can see these scenes star athlete that was it okay so we have a view this is the town guys um i hope we get the option for homeschooling although i understand if they don't include it i totally agree with you erin um homeschooling would be an awesome option i don't think we'll get it i agree i don't think we'll get that in this pack um but that would be awesome if we could it looks like we have um a little park down here it's a pack focused on high school and homeschooling could happen at any time yeah especially with lockdown it would be nice if they took that into account <clears throat> we have some sort of restaurant down here because there's an outside seating area going on in there another park here maybe this is one whole park potentially walking along okay so that building is the one we just saw back there as well the green building maybe not the green building oh i've gone back too far um okay so we have oh there's that um i can't remember what it's called it begins with a p and i can't remember what it's called um there's one of those things there and we got a statue that they're having a selfie in front of new glasses new outfits for both of them new outfits over here as well this is very cute homeschooling has become fundamental in lockdown but i don't think it will happen in this pack no again i do agree i don't think it will happen in this pack but i it would be nice if it did i really like this plant again this one has been featured a few times um a pavilion that is it thank you bruce uh burger i appreciate that or gazebo yes i do believe it's a pavilion oh my god that was gonna drive me insane that is one of those things that i would go to bed tonight going what is it what is it what is it <laughs> i'm loving this pier area i think that's really cute oh we have the bad hangout the 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 bad kid hangout we've got graffiti oh yes and welcome bruce how are you and thank you for joining the stream so there is a stream going through here we've got the bridge we've got the rundown area the graffiti can we have a graffiti tag <gasps> that would be amazing give me a graffiti tag let my sim go around just like graffitiing the hell out of the entire town i want to tag shit up uh he's holding the ball was that a new headdress we don't oh i went back too far hang on hang on hang on here it is that's a new head headdress i believe that is a new headdress which would be very cool that is awesome look at that did she do that is that a mural nico i wish they would add a better disease system in the free update i can't see them doing that unless they redid the um get together not get together get to work pack if they did a refresh on the get to work pack i could see them doing that but actually that was an okayly fleshed out pack so they may not do that um but yeah i agree with you but i don't think they would bring real life diseases into it if you were thinking along the lines of cancer and things like that they i don't think they would do that because it's too triggering to people um is what i imagine they would say to that but there are mods that you can get for that and i've been thinking of doing a um top five realistic mods that you can use to make your game more realistic um because there's so many that is a new top and i am in love with that i want that top in the real world someone make this as much so i can buy it i adore that 
She looks like she's got a dirty face as well, which I like. It looks like she's got some marks on her face, which we don't currently have in game. So I'm curious as to what they are. It'd be nice if we could have some different marks to give our Sims um, more of a unique look. But that looks like the wool mural. So in the Sims, in fact, it's this pack, isn't it? It's um, it's in this game, in this Sims game. Um, the one with the city living. It's called city living. There's murals on that. So... They could have just added new mur murals, which would be cool. Erin, I would love them to do disabilities, but only if they did it well and that looked different for everyone. I don't think we'll get it. I agree, Erin. I don't think we'd get a disabilities pack again. Same thing. One, it's triggering. Two, they say the height thing is an issue as well, say, because people want wheelchairs and things like that. And that would be incredible, especially even just for elderly sims it would be amazing um about height restrictions or stuff like that apparently is the issue um that being said i didn't think we'd get pronouns either but here we are that's very true apparently that was going to be too hard at one point but they managed it okay moving to the next scene after school what's this we have this looks like a thrift slash charity store, doesn't it? Like there's old, it looks like there's some pictures and things and then you've got the rack out front and the worn out carpet. That carpet could be the one from the werewolf pack, the worn out pack. We've got two rugs in the werewolf pack and one of them's worn out. That looks like it could be it. I'm loving this coffee shop as well. I think that's super cute. <gasps> Look at this little mascot. He's so adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> that's way too cute. I am adoring this little setup here. Yeah, so look at this. This could be a charity shop. Like go uh, uh, slash thrift store. I think they're thrift stores in America, aren't they? That looks like we thought was the restaurant. Yes. No, you're right. The green. Yes. That looks awesome. Okay, so the Sims have come in for a coffee after school, of course. <gasps> Look at the aprons in the background. I love them. But yeah, this is definitely looking like a, like a thrift slash charity store. Um, is this a new type of drinks as well? Or is it just a coffee shop with a new mesh? I'd like the ability to have crutches or a wheelchair. They do bikes, etc. I can't see much mapping difference, but I suppose it wasn't designed with it in mind from Rachel. Yeah, so one of the things, because there is a height slider, one of the things you find is when you have two adult sims, Okay, and you make your male sim taller than your female sim is when their lips meet, he will be, the, the taller sim will be kissing the eyes of the shorter sim. So if you have two sims in uh, one stood up, uh, you know, a wife or husband stood up and a wife or husband in the chair, then if they don't get the mapping right so that they bend down to give a hug or a kiss, then they're essentially going to be pretty much kissing or hugging their crutch and talking at the other Sims crutch area. So that crutches, I could see them being able to do that. I'm surprised we don't have walking sticks yet. That was something we had in The Sims 3. Um, so there's no reason why they couldn't bring that in. Hopefully, if they ever decide to do an Elder's game pack or something then they would bring that in but the wheelchair is that's the reason we've had in the past for not being able to have height changes okay let's see i'm wondering how much of this is clutter it looks like again we've got a new menus up here which will be awesome to make different types of restaurants with and we've got some more um 
like uh, poster type things. Sims are drinking. Sims aren't or are liking what they're drinking. I'm not sure if he's happy. No. Nope. Okay. I'm not sure. Ah, okay. So she's in trouble for writing on the whiteboard. So we saw that earlier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I say earlier like it was hours ago. It was like... Where where did where was she a pain in the ass? Here. So at twenty six seconds she was a pain in the ass in class and now it's like fifty seconds in. It's just it's taken us that long to get here. Um so she's in trouble for doing that. The teacher's working at his desk, so there's no students in there other than her. So again, like having a an active teaching career, that would be awesome if we could have that and the actual we could be a teacher in the class telling the kids to be good and there's detention i'm so happy for detention i i don't know why but i'm so excited to get my sims into detention that is gonna be freaking amazing um having your sims stay in after erin <clears throat> that uh, teacher sim looks like the older version of the discover university sims I think you're correct. Maybe it is. That would be very cool. That would be very, very cool. So we have the sports um, field. So we've got two sims in the background there sat on the grass. We've got the football field and we've got cheerleaders. So is that an after school activity? Do you go to um, high school and just essentially be a cheerleader? Because you got to take into consideration into consideration how long it takes our sims to complete simple tasks okay from washing a dish taking 20 minutes um in sim game time like put that into a school day where you're with your sim for six hours at school or even less than that i think it is and how much time do you actually have? I think they will have this like an event system like they do for the go to work jobs where you go to the um, detective, doctors, um, science careers with the Sims and they go and you have to complete a certain amount of tasks um, to start progressing. That I think would be awesome. That would be really cool. Um, but it just depends. So someone's doing track here. Someone, it looks like we've got um, a waiting area maybe over there. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And then we have some Sims playing catch with the ball. I'm really excited about this. This my kids went nuts for, well, Lily went nuts for you know, being a cheerleader, doing all of these moves. It is moving slowly, guys. I have got it on 0.25 speed. So they're all cheering. They've completed whatever they were doing. And we've got these three guys here. So we've got a little scene going on between these two parties. And here he is. Here is the hottie. And... Are we going to get any more information? No. Just that he's the hottie. But this guy, he's like, oh, I like him. I'm, oh, phone case covers. Phone case covers, guys. Guys, there's phone case covers. Can we finally get phone case covers on our phones? Because that would be amazing. Okay. This is where it gets exciting. If you guys haven't watched the trailer, this is where it gets really exciting. And so much is happening. So this is some sort of theme park. Um, we have the entrance here. We've got a Ferris wheel in the background. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited for this. Look at the fireworks going off behind. Is this going to be like the festivals um, where they only happen at certain times? Is this going to be up and running all the time so you can just go on dates 
Um, like the Romance Festival and the flea market and all of those things. Is it going to be like that or is it going to be here all the time? I'm hoping it's going to be here all the time. So oh, that's a woohoo location. Oh, that's a woohoo location. They're having woohoo on there. That is a woohoo location. Now, if you don't know, guys, I do a short series where I am going through all all of the locations for Woohoo and all of the locations for uh, the deaths, uh, all the animations for the deaths as well. That's a Woohoo location. Erin, you were right. We had a conversation earlier um, on Twitter and I was like, I don't think so. I don't think that they would add that. It's a high school pack at the end of the day. It's, you know, teenagers. But that's a Woohoo location. That is the Woohoo sparks going off. I'm excited for that. Okay, sorry. My excitement over the woohoo. I'm an adult, you know. Uh, I've got three kids. I don't get it that often. Um, this animation and shader reminds me of the Sims 3 art style. I agree, Erin. I agree a lot. Um, Rachel, do you think clubs like cheer and athletics would affect like the scouts and clubs? Um, would it clash? The Sims team would be, would be fools if they didn't take that into consideration. Um, if you are in the scouts then, or something like that, then I imagine you'd have a choice. If it's an after school activity, then I imagine you have the choice of um, what you want to do. So whether or not you want to do the drama club, the scouts, cheerleader, um, jock, uh, or football, whatever it's called. Um, I reckon something like that, you'd have the choice. Otherwise, it would be in school. Um, maybe the other ones would be just for children, and then you'd go into um, more teen-styled ones, potentially. Honeydew, are they woohoo? I do believe they are woohoo. I am so psyched for that. I like got way too excited for that. But that is definitely a woohoo. Um, I've seen the spark so many times. I would like a new death in the pack. That would be awesome. We haven't had... We had a new death. We ha I think we've got two new deaths from the werewolf pack. Okay, so going forwards. And what should the death be? Getting hit by the uh, ball too many times in the head. Um, yeah, getting hit in the head too many times by the ball or something. That could be fun. Um, uh, maybe falling off of this during Woohoo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so it looks like we got a new, um, food truck type thing as well. Uh, maybe falling out from the window. Exactly. What have we got down here? So that's a new food stall. That is new. And again, that looks gay pride-ish potentially over there i'm waiting to see this i'm so freaking excited to share this bit so yeah oh my god i could see bob pancake owning this if we could own it that would be amazing he could have his food truck finally i'm wondering what this bit in the middle is do you need to buy a ticket to get in here maybe potentially um okay going round and yeah that's the same one that we saw in the coffee shop we've got a haunted house back there as well which is awesome i'm excited for the haunted house this looks so quaint and cute i think it is adorable truly truly adorable she's having a good old think while she stood there just trying to look at what's going on in the background as well here we go guys now I'm going to find the picture for you and show you guys um, maybe on uh, Friday's stream, tomorrow's stream. This is the photo booth. In The Sims 3, we had the photo booth. It was a great way to be able to take the pictures that you have of your Sims and put them on show in your Sims house. Really good for that. The reason why I personally love it so much is because... I, uh, me and Tom, when we first got together, we were 16 um, in college. 
and we um, went in one of the booths and we kissed and we got a picture of that uh, black and white um, pencil drawing style uh, printout and I've still got that I adore it um, and so that is why for me personally I love the photo booth. It's the one thing I always get my lovebirds to do every single time because it just means so much to me personally. <laughs> um, do you guys have any lovely memories from photo booths, maybe with your friends going out and doing things? I adore photo, photo booths so much. Um, so she's going in and we're gonna see some different pictures. I'm hoping we can take these pictures and put them on the um, walls um, Put them around mirrors and things um, Having a board basically of our friends doing this sort of thing. I think that'd be lovely I wonder if the employee who created the leaked Surveys was dismissed from their position. I doubt it because it caused massive publicity and it wasn't bad publicity. Um, Rachel, haha, <laughs> me and Mark have won two when we were 15. That's lush. I adore, as I said, photo booths are my jam. <laughs> Look at all these and we've got all of it. Whoa, 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 who was that? That was an interesting one. Look at this one. Uh, Erin, I thought this, that this might be a mess around location. It very much could be, especially if you could get some pictures of your Sims having a smooch in there. That would be awesome. And I love this bit. There you go, ghosted. So in some of the pictures um, uh, that you take on the phones, uh, on the cameras, you can get gnomes appear randomly in the background, which are really cool. So it looks like a ghost has randomly appeared for our sim here, which is brilliant. I love that. Um, okay. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Surprise streams and all that. Um, I, I need a nap. <laughs> right, so this is really really interesting now we have this text scene where our sims are having a text conversation now you can send certain texts to sims depending on your mood so you can have a send a flirty text message a happy text message send a text message to sims but it doesn't really say anything um now i'm wondering if we're actually going to be able to have a multi-choice of um, a conversation with sims because that would be really cool so ash these photos are model quality kevin your style is everything teach me your ways and there's quite a long conversation that goes on and so i'm really really hoping i think it would be really really cool if we could actually have um like an actual conversation through text messages because texting not even just for teens for adults as well texting is such a big part of life you know if i want to talk to someone i send them a message i'll even send a message saying are you busy can i call um to friends and family if i want to have a chat so having sims be actually able to send text messages and having options and responses will be awesome will be really really cool so we have our two sims in the background texting and walking at the same time are we gonna have that in the game i doubt it i do doubt that your sims will be able to walk around texting each other um texting as and walking because kids are glued to their phones no not just kids though it's adults as well in this day and age it is not just kids um, so here we have a prom proposal, what looks like could be a prom proposal. And this sim does not seem too into it. He's putting his hands up. He's like, no, thank you. Which is a shame. Sim's looking a bit disheartened. I love this top. Absolutely adore this top in the background. 
Okay, going forwards, thinking about love and stuff. Um, these, again, we've got these poles, and I'm loving these um, hang lights. I really hope that we can have more of this sort of stuff. Uh, that we can put them in our own lots as well. Yeah, that's hotty, isn't it? I believe. No. Oh, God. Hang on, guys. I got uh, Luna. So I am really hoping I'm going to be able to continue. But my three-year-old Luna has just woken up. And Tom is not home for another at least 20 minutes. Because he's working tonight. And this was a, a surprise stream. So um, I'm only streaming because this came out tonight. So I might have to stop just halfway through. And it's going to be one of those things. Because my three-year-old might need me okay so here we can see that the sims are going in to a haunted house i thought it was the other guy that might have been hottie but i'm probably wrong uh hottie seems to know what he wants though this is definitely true i love that this uh this haunted like house thing is going on this looks fantastic i think it looks brilliant um they've done such a good job with the art style of this now we flip round to another scene now because she's principal's daughter i wonder if that means you can be principal of a school i'm curious can we be principal of a school now we've got this hanging chair that's definitely new we don't have that in the game um so that's really cool we've got cups and things on the floor these are probably going to be debug items more than anything i am curious if any uh simmers um youtubers have like james turner have helped with building these um places I'm starting to raise money for this expansion pack. Awesome, good luck with that. Now, if this expansion pack comes out in July, I might be a little bit screwed on getting it because Owen's birthday, he's turning 13 this year, uh, is on the third. And my partner's birthday, Tom, is on the 30th of July. So if this comes out in July, I might be screwed buying it. However, having said that, I will do my best to buy it on release day and I will be streaming on the moment it comes out and sharing everything about this pack, answering any questions that you guys have. So head over to my Twitter account where you can drop your questions for the pack and I will write them down and I will answer as many questions through the stream as possible um erin there will be tons of giveaways on social media and youtube that's very true so make sure you keep an eye out for that the moment i get monetized i will make a um 
I will be doing a giveaway. <laughs> the day I get my first paycheck, I will share it with you guys, I promise. Uh, Rachel, and he's gonna want us as we are all the best here. This is true, everyone here is incredible. Okay, let's have a look. That looks like a new laptop, just saying. I'm trying to keep my voice down so that I do not disturb my three-year-old who is not in a deep sleep. This is a new, hello Cleo. We've got a Cleo in the house, guys. She has come to say hi to you. Hey, baby. Um, so this is a new bed. It's almost like, um, what are they called? The dream catchers. It's a dream catcher styled um, headboard which is nice she's definitely got a green theme going on um so there's camera there that looks like an ashtray why does that look like an ashtray am i alone there that i reckon that a lot of these um cups and plates are going to be debug it looks like this student has went and earned herself an awful lot of ribbons and it'll be interesting if we can do that i can't see the chat cleo your butt is in the way. Here she is. Right in front of my chat. I cannot see what any of you are typing right now. So I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> oh, my little pickle. Okay, she's just sat down. So hopefully she stays sat down. Um okay so yeah i reckon these a lot of these items are going to be the debug menu some of that clutter we've got low we've got a new wardrobe there that looks a little bit like the one from beauty and the beast at, um potentially so that would be cool <laughs> this set definitely all matches the chair the sofa and the bed which is nice yeah, there's that laundry pile again that we saw earlier. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the stream, then please do subscribe to the channel for more. Each time a new trailer like this drops, I will make sure from now on that I do these types of streams where we pull it apart. We talk about what's going on in the um, trailers and things like that. She's got a alarm clock in this chest, chest of drawers, which is really interesting because I've never seen a placement like this before. So that's really cool. Okay, what else have we got in this room? I think that's all we've got in that room. This room looks freaking amazing. Like when I was uh, living at home, this was my dream bedroom. Now I'm an adult and love my technology. This room is my dream with the computer and the TV and everything. I love this. This is gorgeous. Um, again, this stuff seems to match. She's got this alarm clock here again as well. So it looks like we're only getting one alarm clock, but that's fine. Um, and they've got CDs. There's a lot of clutter items in this pack, which is nice. This little teddy down here is freaking adorable. And they got the use of this stool again in here. Um, I'm loving the computer chair as well. That's really cool. And again, they've got these ju these cups out as well with the straws in. I'm wondering if The Sims will actually use the straws because that would be nice. And the star lights are adorable. Will these star lights work for children who have nightmares uh, with the monster that comes out from under the bed? Because that would be cool. That looks awesome. That looks like it could be someone's drawings. And they've got that collectible that we saw at the very beginning as well. Okay. Loving the purple theme in there. Absolutely adore it. Uh, there's so much going on in that room. This room is looking pretty awesome as well. So we got the cheerleader wannabe here. <gasps> there's a new dish there. They're burgers. They is definitely burgers. They've got some trophy as well there. Um, again, there's new wall decorations and things, and they have that alarm clock there. What is that on the table? Is that a closed down laptop? Because that'd be interesting. New piles of clothes. They've got these um, items down here. Looks like there might be only one mesh for some of these items because they look like they were the same. So this pile here is the same as this pile here with all the same skins as well 
So going on from the dancing skill, um, I'm wondering if this will be dance related or if it will have its own, um, if cheerleading will be its own skill. How many new skills do you think we could get from this pack? I'm curious. I'm curious about that. Um, all of these pictures in the background are really cool. So many, uh, and they're all in that heart shape as well, which I think is adorable. And then we got another one here. So this one has a cactus with the flower on top. Um, there's this like schedule board behind here and a different, uh, a different uh, collectible potentially there. This really goes with the home decorating um, pack that we have. It might be from the same pack, in fact. It could well be from the same pack. And again, the items in this match really well. The colour coordination seems to be on point. Seems to be. Because we all know that when we get into game, not necessarily all of the uh, colour themes match up. For instance, in that country, in that um, country kit, where you've got the kitchen, country kitchen kit, the sink does not match the side, the the board, the um, units, and that drives me insane. Erin, there's a lot of references to the flags for the gender orientation. I wonder if our Sims will decide their own orientation when they age up to teens, kind of like how they get to pick their second trait. That would be really, really cool, Erin. I love that. Uh, Nico is loving the neons. Yeah, there's so many different neons, especially with this light, this light, light, this lit mirror. I think that's really cool. And again, they've got this basket of clothes down here. Mum's done the laundry, given it to the kids, and they've gone, <laughs> I'll do it later. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> this is really cool. I can see some items that we currently have in the game. Up on the very top of the shelf, we've got this. Um, uh, perfume set, the men's perfume set and the women's perfume set there and then we have some books of the bunny on there, so those we already have in game um, soda can is probably likely to be a debug item and then we have that same set that we've just seen in two previous ones, rooms so we are seeing some repeats of the items okay so here we go this is really interesting. So, of course, at the moment in game, we have like Plopsy, where your sim can sell items um, that they have crafted, like knitted wear and things like that. Um, we do have an Instagram styled thing where sims can earn followers and things like that. But this is looking like a group chat, which is interesting. So, you've got Kevin saying, You are socially awkward. I say independently advanced. Molly says, if you saw me in detention, no, you didn't. Sydney, the rush of productivity is, it's, and yeah, they have emojis as well uh, to take on the world. Kevin, nothing makes me bubblier than bubble tea. So we can see, um, Ash says, get you a bestie like Kevin, legit, can't live without him. I'm really, and, and this is what gives me hope that this is like really interactive because he's, cho Ash is choose, uh, no, he, this guy, uh, Kevin is choosing a reaction to Ash's, uh, message so I'm really curious if this is just um, the fake bits that come with trailers where you get lots of... Um... No worries, Nico. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, uh, in they elaborate in 
trailers quite often to make it seem like you can do other things that you actually can't do and I'm wondering how much of that is going on in this so where this is concerned I'm not sure how much I am going to like hold on to as being factually correct if that makes sense what do you guys think about that so let's see what's happening next so this sim looks like they're about to all these sims here we go look at this that's leg hair that is leg hair i need leg hair for my sims there's some really exciting scenes that are about to happen i want my female sims to have leg hair as well so this is just all of our sims going to sleep we're getting uh, different views of different clothing items some that we haven't seen before some that we have i like the bunnies and wish teens were well, all this positive i know right they're all very positive i've just seen this um earring set on the side i think that is super duper cute um so it looks like we might have some more makeup clutter so everyone's asleep next day what have we got going on we have a sim holding some letters not sure what that's about two sims that look like they have the flirty faces on we've got a kissing couple um walking through we've got a proposal going on here proposals so this bit is all about the proposals we have two sets of sims that are proposing oh and what are they going to say? Oh, no. And yes. Oh, my God. We've got yeses. We've got noes. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a lot going on in this scene. You've got... He's being rejected, I think. Lots of rejections going on. Lots of rejections. She's looking pissed at her phone. These two seem to be getting on quite nicely. That's cute. I can't believe I we have been going for an hour and we're one minute and 55 seconds into this. That's crazy. We are well and truly tearing this pack apart, like this trailer apart and just viewing as much as possible. And I am adoring it. These are going down. Oh, they're witnessing this. Oh my God, I love that. So he's the hottie. Oh, no, he was the hottie. He wasn't the hottie. He was the hottie. Spinning the ball on his finger. Okay. And he's, of course, got to say yes, surely. Oh, hello. Now, here's a really, really interesting aspect, guys. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. Oh, my God. You ready? He's shaving. He's freaking shaving. We have shaving in the game. He's shaving. He's actually shaving. That is so exciting. Now, does it actually change what facial hair is on? Does it mean that the Sims are just going to keep growing if they aren't shaven? Can we get a beard up to our knees? Because that would be freaking awesome. Um, does lady hair, even if it's just on the legs, does the lady hair grow? That would be amazing. Um, I really need to know these answers. I have to know these answers. This looks like a very crafty area. Like, that's cool. Is there a new skill going on here, potentially? That would be awesome. So she's picking out some clothes. Maybe she's picking out her prom dress. And maybe she's picking out her prom dress because that would be amazing. Um, what have we got? Um, I'm streaming, darling. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, so he is looking very dashing. <gasps> You're gonna love this, guys. Er uh, Rachel, you said about being a rebel. This sim is opening the window and is about to sneak freaking out. That is gonna be amazing to sneak out. Oh, and she is looking gorgeous. I love the fact that she can wear a suit. 
it looks like a clove a cloth shop um clothing making table that's what i was thinking and that would be so exciting so this sim is actually sneaking out of the house and i can't wait for this like and she's going down a trellis as well she's actually going down a trellis it does look like they've had to remove a roofing bit for this uh scene to take place uh which is interesting but i love that she is sneaking out of the house that is amazing uh mum's in there watching tv and she is sneaking out and she is about to whip out her formal wear in just a second there she goes so she is wearing her prom dress that is my other half home and so she's got now she's got the i can't remember what they're called where they put the uh flower on the wrist um i would love if we can get matching ones to put on the guys shirts as well and if we can buy these and put them on another sim that would be really 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 cute um and such a romantic thing to do look at all our sims they're all walking down they're all excited to be going to their prom here they go they look fantastic i am so psyched for this i feel like this is not a good dress though like I don't know what it is it just looks like the sims 4 base game dress it looks flat it looks like there's no texture to it it looks rubbish compared to the other clothing here i don't think that looks good um Rachel, that's going to be so buggy on launch. The sneaking out will look so funny. Do you know what? Don't forget, guys, I will be streaming on day of release if it's possible. Um, and so just keep an eye out because that's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Again, we've got this uh, these bubble arches going on, which are all the range at the moment. So we do have prom. It is official. And there's a couple of different... Um, views of this so we have this one we got this pink purple style it looks very chic and and yeah like gorgeous i love this um although quite feminine <laughs> um we've got the buffet table so they're using items we already have it doesn't even look like these are new meshes either but that's fine i'm happy to compromise as long as it looks full at the moment it's looking full we've seen lots and lots of new items lots of clutter items as well have we got any new interactions it looks like it it looks like we've got quite a few even from the drawings on the school boards and things so i'm psyched for that there's <laughs> there's this white one as well which looks stunning um again we've got the that could be a new tablecloth to be fair and the arches are new but again i don't think there's an awful lot of new items there and again i think i'm not sure if we have these sofas in the base game or or at least in an expansion pack potentially um we've got the photo booth here at the prom as well which i really love because you're going to be able to get the sims to have pictures of their prom uh at their prom i think that's gorgeous that one was super duper cute where'd it go here it is i love this this is more like a gaming retro type thing with that going on there not sure what that is at all to be honest but super psyched for that this looks interesting as well it looks like the other one that we just had just from a different angle and we've got the sims so how many new outfits can we actually see for sure this is a new outfit here that's a new outfit that's a new dress and that's a new outfit this um suit one looks new potentially but i'm thinking that actually might be it maybe that shirt might be new um but i'm not 100 sure 
Again, I love the bubble, uh, the balloon arches and the balloons around the curtains with these stars, star loops. I think they're gorgeous. These look like they might be stereotype things going on there. So that's interesting. And we've got the slow dance. So it'd be really nice if they introduce the slow dance in this pack as well. Because as I said earlier in the stream, I am not sure if they put the slow dance in the base game when they brought out the My Wedding Stories. Um, now there is still some bugs to do with that. For instance, Sims that slow dance with a child, the child will sometimes start levitating. So that's interesting. Um, so it'll be interesting to know if we get that. And it will also be good to have um, the slow dance if it's not in base game to have it from a second pack as well so that it just makes it more available to other sims that top is new they look like so in love this looks like just a normal conversation with the sims that they quite frequently have and again, so we've got this followers. So we already have a follow system in the base game. So if they're just, there's no point having this here if they're not actually giving us something else to go with it at least. And if so, then it should be as a base game update if it's to go with the follow system that's already in the game rather than making it an add-on. Um, but it just depends on how fleshed out that aspect is as well. So everyone looks like they are celebrating together. I do. And so you've got the prom king and you also have a second one and she looks like a clown. So the class clown. So is this in a way where we're going to get awards? So as we saw on the wall of a couple of the Sims, they had different trophies and awards or what looked like awards. So it'll be really interesting to know if they get an award or something from the um, proms and if that gives us them any new traits so of course you have three traits and you get like a little perk depending on what aspiration you choose and you can gain more from being happy toddler to basically being the perfect sim is getting an award from here going to add to um your trait list Rachel, my wedding is a giant bug. Was so funny to watch your stream on launch day. Everyone should be watching your first looks and subscribe. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, so as I said before, I will be streaming. I will literally like do anything to get this pack on release day and I will be streaming it so you guys can find out exactly what goes on in it the only thing i'll say is if it comes out on the 30th of july i won't be streaming <laughs> it will be the next day that i can stream um okay let's see what else have we got because we're literally coming up to the end of it so there can't be that much more to give away um the more they give away the more worried i get because it's like they're overselling it which means more can go wrong so courgette no that's not that's a vegetable i can't remember what they're called but they have one of those flowers in that suit which is quite cute so everyone's dancing i'm wondering if they are dancing together or not so currently sims will dance next to each other or with the My Wedding Pack stories, they'll dance, slow dance together, but they don't dance together, like, really. So if we could actually get them dancing together, that would be awesome. Looks like we might be getting some new dance moves, which would be cool. And we have some tricks. So this looks like the after party of a prom. And these Sims are watching this one do the tricks, which is really cool. And he is back here dancing away again. Lots and lots of dancing. And we have a pillow fight now. 
I am excited for the pillow fight. So these two are an item now. So I think that's really cute. We've got these um, pictures in this um, setup this time. So before... Oh, excuse me. In the cheerleaders bedroom, they had the pictures in like a heart shape. Corsages, thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, corsages. Um, so this desk again, it might be just attached to this desk. They have that um schedule thing in the background, which is awesome. And these two are having a pillow fight, which is really cool. Um, I really do love the pillow fight. And so he's dancing with his crown on. Um, yeah, having that pillow fight is going to be freaking amazing. This is really interesting. This looks like a new interaction. Um, a new, uh, maybe mischievous interaction. So she's doing a scare thing. Like they're being silly together. And then she scares him. So I think this is a mischief thing. And considering she's, you know, class clown and all the rest of it, I do think that that's more likely to be a mischievous interaction so here we have a ceremony she is getting her diploma all of these guys are getting their diplomas we have more certificates and things in the background which is cool and potentially their class teachers as well so that looks awesome oh oh what's going on here i do not remember this bit so we have a beat up house very interesting what are these sims doing is this the future of what's going to happen in their lives <laughs> i do not know so these sims are all oh how sweet it looks like they're just all going on a memory trip um potentially that old broken down house is a um maybe just a thing a uh come on words maybe it's just like um them going on an adventure traveling together type thing maybe it's not actually part of the game we have this interesting s simoleon sign and a no fishing sign in the water as well we've got a collectible spot there we can see right by the promenade um shine bright and i am excited for this pack everything that we have just pulled apart if the game is actually like this i think it is going to be well worth getting oh interesting by by september the 8th so this is not going to be coming out in july guys so it look we'll probably be getting a lot of updates in the meantime on the 15th of july the sims team is doing a live stream of this um so that will be really interesting i'm glad it's not coming out until september um which means i will be getting it on release date and i will be streaming it on release date um so that is going to be really, really exciting. Now, I do hope you have enjoyed this stream, this deep dive into the trailer and all the things that we might expect to get. We've shared our ideas. Um, I'm mostly excited that we're getting a new Woohoo location because, yeah, <laughs> why would I not be uh, with my uh, shorts um, but yeah, so I do hope you have enjoyed this stream. I am going to stop streaming and go and get some sleep, <laughs> which is going to be much needed at this point. Um, and if you're watching this after the stream, then let me know um, if you're going to, if you're looking forward to the pack, if you're going to be buying it, and if you're going to be joining us for the stream. Let's see how buggy it is. And as always, don't forget every Monday we stream the Disney Challenge every wednesday we stream the decades challenge and every friday we stream a random game so i have been gaming with Shah. i hope you've enjoyed this and i will